So YouTube team, keep it clean. It's time for some post-game thoughts from that Ravens Commanders preseason game that felt like a regular season game because there was a lot of animosity in there. It was personal and it was real. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, so you don't miss anything. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Sometimes YouTube be acting funny with the notifications like today and last night. They were acting funny with it, but it is what it is. Uh, and leave a like on the video too because that does help out like a whole lot. It really does. Uh, anyway. Just get into this game. Um, starting with the, uh, of course, the, the Commanders won 29-28. Uh, they kicked that last second field goal, and boy, they was celebrating like crazy. I wasn't mad at them. I wasn't mad at them because you know that saying when two teams will go up against each other and the fans of the, both teams, they talk trash and whatnot. But it seems like the game is a lot bigger for one team than another, and they'll say, oh, that was your Super Bowl it actually felt like that. The way they were running around and celebrating and then jumping in the crowd and going and doing all that stuff all over the field. Okay, I wasn't mad at it, but hey, enjoy what you enjoy. So I ain't mad at it, man. I, I, I enjoyed the game, man. I wish it was a different outcome because I appreciated the streak. Like y'all know, I appreciate it. I enjoyed it. Um, but now it's over and the commanders got it. So that's that. Uh, but getting into it, the quarterbacks, um, well, Ravens quarterbacks, Josh Johnson. Josh, both Josh Johnson and Anthony Brown, they had good games. Uh, both of their interceptions, in my opinion, like Josh Johnson's interception, the one that he threw up to James Prochet, yeah, the ball could have been placed out a little. It could have been a little higher, and it could have been a little further, but it was not like it was this bad ball or anything like that. Um, it was not like, oh, man, what a terrible throw. Yeah, it, it wasn't perfect, but – it still gave James Prochet a good opportunity. And with James Prochet, I thought he, he's known for making them contested catches. He ain't known for getting separation or anything like that. He's known for having really good hands and making contested catches. And that was a way to display that. And unfortunately, it just didn't work out. And with, with James Prochet, we're going to talk about him a little bit later. But um, it's, it's been crazy. It's, it's just like it's really crazy how with James Prochet, Two preseason games, two, the ball coming his way, and two big turnovers. And crazy stuff, too. Like, the, well, the fumble wasn't so crazy, but that interception in the Commanders game was crazy, man. And, again, I, it's just not looking good for James Prochet, but we, we'll talk about him um, later on another time. Uh, but, yeah, Josh Johnson, besides that, he had a good game, threw the touchdown pass to Zay Flowers. And we're we'll going to talk about that a little bit, too. But, yeah, Josh Johnson, he, he did his thing, man. Um, and while Tyler Huntley is out, both quarterbacks they they look good and uh, well, they 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 look solid in Tyler Huntley's absence because uh, of course he's dealing with that hamstring injury. So I I think he'll be back this week. That's just my opinion. I don't know nothing. Uh, Y'all know I'm an NFL outsider. No sources, no plugs, no none of that. So that's just what I think. I think he'll be back this week. Um, but we'll see when we see. Um, but yeah, he threw touchdowns to uh, Tylen Wallace and Zay Flowers. Nice touchdowns, too. The one that he threw to Zay, it was mostly Zay doing all the work. Uh, then the one to Tylen Wallace, sort of that back shoulder throw. And t another week, another back shoulder touchdown for the catch for Tylen Wallace. Oh, hold up. No. What, that, what, was that a back shoulder? No, no, because Tylen, Tylen Wallace ran to the end zone, and then he turned around. So I guess kind of, sort of, but either way, whatever it was, it was, it was a beautiful touchdown. I, I initially thought it was incomplete. I was like, oh, that, that ain't no catch. But then they reviewed it, and everybody in the stream was like, oh, no, it's confirmed, it's confirmed, it's confirmed. So I guess with Tylen Wallen, Tylen Wallace, excuse me, he caught the ball, and then he went down to the ground, and then got knocked out after. But I guess they were like, oh, you know what, he caught the ball, and he went down to the ground, touchdown. I, I didn't think he had full control, but, hey, I wasn't complaining. So I was like, hey, <laughs> it's a touchdown, it's a touchdown. I ain't going to fight you. I ain't going to fight you. Give it to Tylen Wallace. And I, I really do think Tylen Wallace, he locked up that six wide receiver spot. It's, it's, it's his It was his already last week uh, This week made it his even more So I mean Yeah That's 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 a wrap for that um, Cause it like I don't really think there's anything That anybody could do To take it from him But again We'll we talk about that uh, uh, Another video um, But yeah The quarterbacks They did their thing Anthony Brown uh, When he came in I know a lot of Ravens fans Were scared A lot of Ravens fans were Like oh don't throw the game away And again The interception that he threw was It was the, the, the Hail Mary um, So I, I can't count that as anything. Um, but, yeah, he threw them two touchdowns and them two, like, touchdowns where you got to believe. You got to believe, especially the second one that he threw to um, Vokalek. I want to make sure I say his name the right way. But, yeah, he he threw it in 
traffic. Uh, and he made a good decision, and it paid off, man. He trusted him. He trusted his tight end. Uh, so that was good. Now, uh, looking at the running backs, um, the running backs, Melvin Gordon, he, he looked better th- this week than he did last week. La- I mean, last week he didn't look bad to me, but this week he looked better. I, I think there was one play where uh, he bounced it to the outside, and, well, no, it was a toss play to the right. And Falele, as big as he is, he missed as little as he is Emmanuel Forbes. And Emmanuel Forbes just played it perfectly. He played it perfectly, and he caught Melvin Gordon on that third and one and stopped him uh, in the backfield. But other than that, Melvin Gordon looked solid. Uh, Justice Hill, again, same stuff. Justice Hill looked good. He only had a couple carries, but he looked good with his carries. Keith Mitchell, y'all already know what the deal is with Keith Mitchell. And, and we were happy to um, hear that he, the injury that he got, just a shoulder stinger, so he should be back any day now. We'll see when he comes back. So that was nice. And we did not see Gus Edwards uh, at all. Um, so I was like, okay, well, all right, so that's that. Uh, and as far as Owen Wright got, I didn't even know he had nine carries, but he got nine carries for 10 yards, so not his best game. But with Owen Wright, I mean, I feel like the expectations are really low. Um, we know that he's, he's not going to make the roster. And again, that's no offense to him at all, but it's just JK, Gus Edwards, Keaton Mitchell, Justice Hill, Melvin Gordon, all in front of you. Like he's so he's not gonna make the roster. So with Owen Wright, anything that he's doing right now, it's really just auditioning for practice squads for other teams and whatnot. For even for their active roster, he's just trying to trying to make it on with somebody. So we'll see uh, how that ends up. Um, as far as the uh, the receivers, receivers, tight ends, uh, Charlie Cola, he had two nice catches, very nice catches. But something that I'm I'm kind of confused about. There's been a lot of discourse on people thinking that Charlie Cola might not make the roster. I I just don't get that. I I don't see where or how people see that. Like that's that's been really weird to me to even hear about that. People like are really debating on if Charlie Cola will make the roster or not. I always felt like Charlie Cola was a lock. Like he he was a lock. They drafted him right next to uh, Isaiah Likely. Wasn't he drafted actually before Isaiah Likely? I think he was. So like how. That would be crazy to me if he didn't make the roster. But I don't. there's no way I, I see him getting cut, like, at all. Um, I don't know where people see that at. Uh, or maybe because because Vokalek was making them plays and whatnot. And he made some. He made a nice, really nice catch uh, last week, too. Josh Johnson threw him a beautiful ball, and it was a beautiful catch. But he, I don't think he's making the roster. Maybe practice squad, Vokalek, that's, that's what I'm talking about right now. But not the active roster for him. So even with his nice plays and whatnot, I don't think he's making the active roster. So anyway, um, he had those nice catches. Zay Flowers, Zay Flowers, just he just continues to to show like, hey, he got it, he got it, and I was so glad. Like Ravens, they they get it because I was so glad with Zay Flowers. He made them two catches. First one was nice. He made the guy miss. Second one was even better because it ended up being touchdown. But with Zay Flowers, after he scored that touchdown, making all the people miss and showing the speed, showing acceleration, showing the, that shifty, showing all of that good stuff. Ravens ain't playing no more. Ravens, you don't need to play him no more until week one. He has nothing left to prove. He got nothing left to show. He got nothing left to do in the preseason. Don't play him at all anymore. You don't need to. No need. Just his preseason should be over. Thanks, Ravens. In advance. Don't don't play him no more. And it's it's literally no point. For real. It's no point. There's no point. Um Oh, Travis Vokalek, that's his name, Travis. So okay, he had three catches, two touchdowns. So he did his thing. We just talked about him. Uh, and he looked good. Good hands. Good hands. He 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 reminds me of a um like a, a bigger Pat Ricard because he's, he's he's like this big big guy, but uh he's not the fastest. He ain't got he ain't got to be a tight end man, but he be catching. He be catching. That same thing with Pat Ricard. Pat Ricard. Hey, Pat Ricard even caught his pass the other day last night too. That little inside slam for that for the first down. I think caught Pat Ricard caught Pat Ricard caught it. And he it's funny when he ran his little route. And then, you know, Pat Ricard, like, that's fullback, that's defensive tackle, that's H-back, that's wide receiver. Well, yeah, that's meant to do it all. That's offensive lineman, left guard, you know Pat Ricard. But anyway, he, um, when he ran his route, one of the commander's defenders tried to, like, brush up on him. He, he wasn't even phased by it. He just kept running. Then another one tried to brush up on him. He wasn't even phased by that. He just kept running. And then uh, I think it was Josh Johnson threw the ball his way for the first down. Boom. And he got it. So Pat Ricard, man, he, he making sure, like, hey, I'm, I'm trying to stick around, too. Because, again, with Pat Ricard, I'm like, I've been in this weird spot with Pat Ricard where I just, I don't know. I feel like, like, 
I feel like he's a lock to make the roster, but at the same time, I feel like there's like this little chance. There's a little chance, and I don't know, especially with them moving him around in all these different positions. But I, I don't know, man. Um, Justice, oh, Justice Hill had a catch. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It must have been like a dump off, and then he took it. The rest. Dante Demas Jr. He had a catch too, so it was nice to see him get involved. But again, it, it, we said it from jump when they signed him. It was gonna be really, 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 really tough for him to make the roster. Like really, really tough. And right now, I think Dante Demas Jr. is unfortunately on the outside looking in. Uh, Tylen Wallace only catch of the night was his touchdown, again, solidifying his spot. Uh, James Prochet also had a catch. Um, yeah, Tariq Black, he had a catch too. But yeah, again, with the receivers, it, it's Tylen Wallace's job, man. It's Tylen Wallace's job. Um, just nobody else has stood out. Nobody else, well, there was uh, Ryan, but I, I don't think we saw him last night. I don't remember seeing him at all last night. So, yeah, I, I just realized that. Yeah, I don't think we see Is he, like, hurt or something like that? I don't know. Anyway. Um, and, yeah, that was it for offense. And defense. Oof. Defense. Oof. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Defense was, uh, oh, boy. Um, where do we start? Uh, it was rough. It, it, it was very, very rough. Um, they they struggled throughout, but at the same time, um, this was like second and third string players going up against the best of the best uh, with the Commanders. They were going up against Terry McLaurin, going against Diami Brown, going against um, Curtis Samuel, going against uh, Dotson. They were going against the best of the best. Um, so. For what it's worth, they held it down for the most part, but they just, they, there was a lot of struggles. Um, Brandon Stevens and Caillou Blue Kelly. Um, let's start with Brandon Stevens first. Brandon Stevens reminds me of, uh, I was just telling my guy this early, he reminds me of Chuck Clark. Uh, because it ain't like he's like out of position, like crazy out of position. He'll be right there, but he, I think he just, right now, his struggle is just to finish the play. It's just to finish and make the play on the, the, the receiver. Um, I know he's he maybe still being in an, in, a, in an adjustment period, still making that transition to corner and whatnot, still getting used to it because he's been bounced around quite a bit. Um, but they, he's somebody that the Ravens really like. They really got high hopes for. Uh, and you could tell by how much they play him. Um, and you, you saw this from last year, too. Um, even from when he was first drafted, you saw it. Uh, he They really, really like him a lot. Um, but Brandon Stevens, like, you know, I mean, it's just going to – he'll continue to get better with more repetition and just being out there, uh, just getting more opportunities. Uh, I'm still curious on how they're going to use him this year. Uh, with Caillou Blue Kelly, uh, that was – last night was probably the most action I've seen him get. They were picking on him too. They were picking on a rookie. Um, he did make a play toward the end of the game, um, but a lot – he was getting picked on, like, a lot. They will continue to go at him over and over and over and over and over. Um, so he had a rough game. Uh, then even had a, a play where he'll probably get fined for. Um, but And it probably could have been a penalty where the receiver, like, dropped it and then he came in after and, like, hit him in the head. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But, yeah, he, he had overall a uh, a rough game. Um, who else? The pass rush uh, wasn't really much of nothing. Uh, Rayshon Nichols, he had a couple of really nice plays. He helped with the forced fumble, and I think he was part of a sack too, I want to say. I think. I don't completely remember. But defense, like, last night was all a blur uh, because, yeah, it, it was rough. But, again, not the starters. It wasn't the starters. Uh, we saw David Ajabo out there a little bit. Um we haven't really seen much from him, but we also haven't seen him that much. So I ain't tripping off of a job. I know a lot of people have been tripping off of a job, saying that he don't look good, saying that he get pushed around, saying this, that. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I, 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 I guess I got to hold out judgment or whatnot, or analysis or whatever, till regular season. Because um, I just feel like we haven't seen him out there too much. Uh, so we just got to wait it out when it comes to that. Uh, but yeah, man, Ravens defense, they initially, they were doing some bending, but not breaking. Uh, but then they just, they just started breaking. But again, they were going against starters. So I was, I was happy that 
the commanders put their starters out there. Even though they did lose Terry McLaurin, unfortunately, and they said it could be turf toe, but they'll know the extent of it later on today. I mean, by the time you see this video, they will have they will know the extent of it most likely. But um, with Terry McLaurin, that would be a obviously a huge blow. One of the best receivers in the game, and obviously the best receiver on the commanders. Um, so yeah, and they did say before the game though, it was said that they were going to play their starters for a half. So I know a lot of people are like, oh man, they they just playing them so they could beat the the Ravens record and whatnot. And hey, that could have been a part of it. that could have been a little extra motivation to lead them out there. But yeah, uh, Travis Jones, he had got some nice push on the interior of that defensive line. Um, but Ravens like they they struggled throughout as far as the pass rush. Again, backups versus starters. So, but even against some of the backups, they they kind of struggled too. Um, but again, it's just backup. It's just it's just really hard to get a reform because again, they, they, it was a lot of backups out there, a lot of depth guys out there, They're not starters, not the not the guys who are gonna be out there like that, like that, uh, come this season. The guys who are gonna be out there like that, they were all on the sideline. So again, I can't look too much into it because uh, again, it, it was preseason, but it was fun. It was fun. This was a fun game, uh, and we only got one more left, and then after that, hey, it's real right there, man. It's real right there. So we'll see how this thing goes, man. But I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And hey, let's let's see how these Ravens do now. And let, let this, I guess watching that last free season ain't gonna be kind of weird, man. Because again, the streak is over. The streak is done. And I wonder if next week, if the starters will play like a series or two, just to sort of like get into it, or if they just gonna be like, you know what, nah, start, starters ain't playing this game. They ain't playing this game. We'll, we'll just see y'all boys week one. I would think the Ravens would lean more toward the latter, but you just never know with these guys. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. And on that note, we are out.